Assalamu alaikum welcome back once again to technology information channel today in this video we are going to explain the EMCP3 3.1 3.2 3.3 caterpillar controller complete wiring diagram in this videos okay before the starting the video is my request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos so let's get started okay this is our EMCP 3.3 as you can see here is a some key and power buttons and parameter setup buttons as you can see is generator buttons and also the alternator buttons and navigation keys and run and auto and stop buttons okay and some warning lights and display lights and warning indicators so let's as you can see the emcp3 generator set control or gse is a primary controller within the emcp3 system panel it's contained the primary operating and service interface the inset put to show an up close view to the generator set control the emcp3 line of of generator set controller include EMCP 3.1, EMCP 3.2, and EMCP 3.3. The application and installation guide is instituted to cover the EMCP 3 generator set control and application and a generator set system. So, this is the little bit explanation of the EMCP. This EMCP most of time come in a caterpillar generators and also the Olympian cat, Olympian Perkin generators okay EMCP product line of generator set controller is designed to use in a wide range of application they can used on a standby and prime power diesel generator sets including Caterpillar, Perkins and Olympian brands the configurability of the controllers allow them to be used in some cases on other applications such as a marine auxiliary generator switch gear application include engine and generator set and gas generator set so let's move to the explain the complete winding diagram of the 70 pin behind the EMCP3 70 pin connectors that's one as you can see this is the complete 70 pin connectors from pin 1 to pin 70 okay so let's start from the top first of all which is the main supply to turning on the con this controller as you can see pin number 52 and pin 65 this is the emcp 3r 3.3 controller power up power and supply to power up the controller and turning on okay after that as you can see the pin 67 and 66 this is the magnetic pickup unit negative and positive MPU connection directly coming from the MPU and insert it here in a 67 and 66 okay after that pin 13 11 9 7 this is the generators supply input okay AC voltage supply okay direct L1 and pin 13 L2 and 11 pin 11 and L3 N and pin 9 okay and also gen AC neutral and pin 7 okay three phases is one neutral input supply from the alternator okay here is no and the pin 31 pin 47 pin 57 and pin 39 this is the current transformer cities ampere rating current transformer cities connection input okay ct1 and pin 31 ct2 and pin 30 uh, pin 47 and ct3 is in a 57 and also the all ct common is in pin 39 the wire is 16 american wire gauge okay no pin 46 and pin 56 this is the piezo analog negative and 
Pays you in a log positive. Okay. Pays you. What is the pays you in a log means? Pays you in a log means the sensors. For example, oil pressure sensor, temperature pressure sensor. Okay, as you can see, this side, oil pressure sensors, two kilo ohm, and also pin thirty seven and pin thirty eight, eighteen American wire gauge, two kilo ohm sensors, coolant temperature. Okay, inputs. This is, here is the sensors inputs, and also the all sensors, sensor. return and common in a pin 49 input okay no can shield pin 42 pin 34 and pin 50 pin 34 and pin 50 this is the can data link negative and positive and also the shield wire input in a pin 42 okay pin 70 pin 55 pin 4 54 pin 53 and pin 45 Pin forty-four, pin sixty-five. This is all the discrete input. What is mean by discrete? Discrete inputs. This this is the free free connection. You can use this all connection for any purposes, like emergency push stop or some uh, walls and some indication warning lights turning on and off. Okay, and also this discrete uh, input is. Uh, used for the as you can see here pin 70 is a emergency inputs okay and pin 55 pin 54 pin 53 pin 45 pin 44 and pin 65 this is the reference battery negative voltages as you can see the in other sides this is the negative feed okay when this this all is the normally open contacts okay when the connect contact is goes to normally close this make a signal or warning indication okay pin 51 and pin 61 this is all the relay using for the starting uh, starter motor and also the fuel turning on and also the air shut off solenoid and also some the uh, for example the air shut off solenoid and engine stop solenoid okay the relay number 1 is used for the engine cranking relay number 2 is used for the fuel turning on okay relay number 3 is used for the air shut off solenoid okay relay number 4 is used to for the uh, diesel uh, electronic diesel pump okay your or electronic motor uh, diesel motor pump okay relay 5 and relay 6 this is the spare relay you need to this all relay is need to be programmed from the software but some relay is pre program from the factory which is relay 1 2 3 4 and 5 for till 4 okay pin 69 8 4 3 62 60 59 this is all the nc nc and see okay when this goes to n n o this uh, generate the alarm indication and another thing okay as you can see here is the alternator connection from the alternator to the controller and also the ct connection so i hope to understand to watch this complete video little bit overview on on a uh, programming okay as you can see here first of all you need to uh, go to main menu and then go to uh, config click on configuration and then set the security password okay and then as you can see drop the uh, drop to the minimum enter level 1 or 2 enter level 3 change level 1 password chain level 2 password and chain scada password okay as you can see then goes to configuration and then goes to setup set points as you can see automatic start and stop avr discrete voltage governor desired engine speed shutdown override 
as you can see battery voltage monitor crank start counters engine cooling temperatures okay this is all the your set points okay as you can see diagnostic configuration pressures temperatures levels others okay pressures temperatures levels others okay as you can see here as a digital inputs so what is digital input as you can see in digital input and then out to emergency stop and digital input and then goes to remote initiate digital input even input function this is all your digital input connection methods okay then click on configuration then go to set point as you can see general monitor protect input and outputs as you can see digital inputs input and output connections okay then click on configuration then back then back from the set point then back from the event okay and then click on an event and as you can see even input output functions okay as you can see here is the starter monitor relay functions and starter monitor magnetic switch battery okay as you can see configuration set points then click on other digital selectors here is your all connection uh, uh, configuration about the anything as you can see digital selector configuration option disables use input one for on use zero for off air shut off start eight common warning common shutdown crank alert okay auto mode break one use input six use input hash seven this is the programming for the your command okay as you can see all this is thanks for watching the complete video if anybody have any further question please write comment below in comment section i will give you the complete uh, uh, winding diagram and a uh, complete software management diagram thanks for watching my video see you all next time